What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Tutorial Tuesdays. Today I'm going to be talking about your typing speed and how you can improve it. Now I type around 110 to maybe 130 words per minute on a good day, which is about two words per second. So it's pretty fast. I mean, I'm not the fastest in the world, but I'm pretty good typist. Typer? Typist? I think typist. So I want to teach you some stuff so hopefully you can get to maybe 80 to 100 words per minute and hopefully improve from there. First thing you're going to need to do is be able to type without looking. Now this is super important. If you can do this, you're already probably going to be able to type a pretty fast speed. So you're going to have to memorize the keyboard layout. You don't have to like go and memorize everything. Just by typing enough, you'll probably get to that point pretty naturally. But we did have some stuff when we were like growing up in grade school and it's still stuck with me today. So the Q, A, Z. So on the left side, it goes Q, then A, then Z. We learned it as quick ask Zoe. And then WSX was what stops x-rays, even dogs can't. They were such weird things, but they still stuck with me today. If you watch my memory video, you probably can understand why they kind of taught us that weird stuff that doesn't make much sense, but can paint like a visual picture in our head. So memorizing the keyboard layout is very huge for just being able to type pretty fast. And not tech typing, that's where you only have your pointer fingers and going around like that, like a chicken bobbing its head on the keyboard. You do not want to do that. You want to use all your fingers. Now, I don't really utilize every single one of my fingers probably perfectly, uh, which I think actually can help because, for example, if you're typing out the word from, you start, if you have put your hand on a keyboard right now, if you have a keyboard around, F and R are up and down from each other. So traditionally, you're taught to put the F with your pointer finger, the R with your pointer finger, and then go from there. But I basically visualize the word in my head on the keyboard and then think of the best way to do it from there. So instead of typing F and then R, so going up with the pointer finger, that's a little slow. So I actually move my middle finger to press the R. So it's actually a little bit faster to do that. And the more words you type out, the better mental picture you have of these words. So when I hear the word from, I can think, okay, F and then R rather than F, R. So at that will actually improve your typing speed a little bit to be able to learn words and then kind of memorize your hand positions. It's almost muscle memory at that point. So when you tell me a word that I know and I've typed before, I'll be able to type it very quickly, even though I'm not using my the normal layout that they teach you to put, you know, your pinky on A and then the other pinky on the colon key and then going from there on the home row. If you don't do that, you're actually able to type a little bit faster by breaking the rules a little bit. You can improve your speed just a little bit. Now, this will take some practice as well and probably could lead to some bad habits when typing. But if you kind of slowly stray off of having your hands in this exact position, you will be able to speed up your typing a little bit. Another little known fact is the QWERTY keyboard, which is the layout that you see, the Q-W-E-R-T-Y, was actually not made for typing speed. It was made for original typewriters and it was made to slow people down because if they type too fast, the, it would get jammed. So they made the QWERTY keyboard to slow people down, which is why it's not actually efficient. So if you really want to improve your typing speed to get it really fast and you want to go undergo a really big change, you can actually switch to the Dvorak. So if you switch to that layout, it's actually made to minimize the amount of movements your fingers need to go. That's a little bit of an extreme change and I did try it and never really got it faster than my normal speed, but it was something that's very interesting that if you wanna try. So if you don't know the QWERTY keyboard that well and you want to learn to type really fast, that might be a way that you can do it. You don't need to manually switch all the keys around. There's actually some stuff online that I'm gonna link in the description that you can go to and you can actually change the keyboard layout so your computer recognizes it differently and it can teach you some words that you can learn and then you'll be able to eventually type uh, with the Dvorak layout. And obviously practice. So just type a lot, go to typingtest.com or typing whatever, and you'll be able to try and work on getting it faster. If you're not looking at the keys, you'll be able to type it a lot faster if you're looking right at the words. And also when you get to a certain point, it's a lot faster and you wanna try and get the words per minute from like 100 to 120. Looking ahead 
So don't look at the word you're at and then typing it and then look at the next word. If you're able to look two or three words ahead to kind of prepare your fingers to where they need to go, you'll actually be able to type a lot faster. I found myself getting a little lazy and just doing it one word at a time. That's when I get the hundred words per minute. But when I look ahead, that's when I can bust out 130 or 140 words per minute. Now there's no like super big reason to be able to type really fast unless you have a job in typing. Like even me as a programmer, it's not that useful to type out a bunch of words in a few seconds since I can just wait a couple seconds and do it anyways. It's not like programming and most jobs require super fast speeds. And most data entry positions and stuff require just a decent amount of speed, but really for accuracy. So unless you're having a job that specifically requires you to type super fast, then it's not necessary to really have that jump from 100 to like 150 or something. But using the techniques that I talked about, you definitely can get it to about 80, 100 words per minute, which should impress people at the very least. So let me know what your words per minute is in the comments. A lot of people my age are pretty fast. Like a lot of them are 60 to 80 words per minute. It's pretty impressive. And even texting as well. I mean, people can type almost 100 words per minute texting and you know moving your fingers around super fast so texting can also help you at least learn the keyboard layout so i didn't really talk about that but it is something that i just thought of right now so thank you guys for watching if you like this video please leave a like it helps me out a ton and subscribe to my youtube channel i have videos coming out every tuesday and every single friday so thank you guys for watching peace